We know what happens sometimes, some nights you charge your batteries up before you're gonna go to the field the next day. Something happens, something happens with the family. You gotta run out, you don't get a chance to get to the field. Um, so you gotta put them on a store charge and we're gonna show you how to do that. Hello hobbyists, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James with another quick tip, and today's tip is on storage charging your LiPo batteries. It is imperative every time we uh, come home from flying, or if we don't use our LiPo batteries that are fully charged, that we storage charge them. So now all LiPo batteries, regardless of cell counts, regardless of size, brands, what have you, um, a fully charged battery, each cell will be at 4.2 volts. Um, you do not want to store it at 4.2 volts about 3.8 volts is a perfect storage charge whenever you buy a brand new battery they are for the most part um, always shipped to you in a storage charge that's why if you ever put them on a lipo um, cell checker you would notice that they're somewhere between 375 and 385 usually um, you know it's not a perfect science but 3.8 is about the perfect storage charge and why do we do that if you ch if you store a battery over time when it's fully charged you're gonna experience battery degradation and that can happen pretty rapidly over the course of a, maybe a day or two days um, by leaving a battery sitting around uh, just fully charged. Then we could start seeing that swelling happen and puffiness. And over time, that's just going to kill your battery. Sure, you can use them, but um, they're not going to work as well anymore. And again, you've spent a lot of money on your lipo battery you want to get as many cycles through that battery as possible i still have batteries that are years old that still look fantastic and still work great um, because i religiously uh, always storage charge my battery so we know what happens sometimes some nights you charge your batteries up before you're going to go to the field the next day something happens something happens with the family you got to run out you don't get a chance to get to the field um, so you got to put them on a storage charge and we're going to show you how to do that with a battery charger like this, which uh, will pretty much wor look like most battery chargers on the market. So our battery charger is already on, so I'm going to get it plugged in. And then after you plug in the connector, you want to plug in your balance tap. You're never going to be able to store a charge unless you're connected via the balance mode. And then you want to make sure you're on LiPo battery option, which is what we are. We're going to go into enter and then instead of balance you're going to look for the one that says storage now there's a second option in a in most chargers that's going to say discharge basically a storage charge is discharging the battery but if you put it in the discharge mode this uh your charger will not stop until your battery is fully discharged and you could kill your battery that way um obviously if you wanted to discharge something quicker there are other uses for a lipo charger aside from just rc maybe someone would do that but i've never used that mode in my life i always use storage charge and then when i set it up i always put it at a 1c rate for the most Point, for the most part, discharging takes a lot longer than charging your battery on a charger like this, and it'll never go up to uh, a 4 amp discharge rate. I guess some do, but this one definitely doesn't. But I like to keep it there just to be safe. And then when you're ready, you make sure your cells are the right way. We have a 6S battery, so we have 6 cells here. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to ask me to confirm. And you're done. Now you're just going to wait. When this battery gets to about 3.8 uh, volts per cell, it will just stop automatically, which is awesome. But now, just like charging a LiPo battery, when you're doing a storage charge, never leave your batteries unattended. Obviously, I'm in a controlled setting here, environment. I'm right here with my batteries, but I have a full charge setup that's hard to uh, show that's uh, a lot safer than this. You can put your battery in a LiPo bag. There are battery um, compartments uh, that you can put them in to house them just in case something goes wrong. But you never walk away, whether you're charging a battery or storing storage charging or discharging a battery when it's connected to the charger never leave it unattended unless unless you have it somewhere outside where nothing's around it but if it's in your basement if it's in your garage if it's in your house in your home always do it when you're present and uh so that if something does go already you can be there to um you know stop it but 
Again, storage charging your LiPos, be with them. If you do have to leave the room, I shut everything off. I unplug all the connections. I will go do what I have to do. And then when I co I'll come back and I'll get it all set up again. Cause sometimes I have five, six different chargers going at the same time when we're getting ready to go out to do a shoot with uh, an aircraft or a car or something. But guys, that'll basically do it. Storage charging your LiPos is imperative to uh, keep the longevity of your battery that you spent your good hard-earned money on. You'll get more usage out of that battery if every time you get home, you storage charge them. Even after you fly a battery, check it. Sometimes you'll automatically be at about a 3.8 uh, volts per cell, but if you're at 3.9, if you're at 4.0, if you're a little less, sometimes you, you went past 3.8, you're down to 3.6, stick it on your charger, put it in storage mode. If it's less than 3.8, it'll actually bring the battery up. So it'll charge the battery back to a perfect storage charge. And that why that, that's why that option exists, because it is so important. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick tip and we'll be back next week with another one. Thanks for joining us.